hello everyone so this is the shea butter that i will be using i already put some in the bowl for you guys to see and this is the african secret 100 percent organic shea butter it's yellow i opened it to show you guys i used about half of it or a little bit of a half or whatever i don't know <laughs> um i'll be using the sweet almond oil and the grapeseed oil and the castor oil cold pressed and the vitamin E oil and the rosemary oil I'm sorry about the focus you guys there we go okay <laughs> and um, I'll put a few of those drops okay this is the spoon I'll be using so I'm gonna mash it up a little bit so I can so it could be easier for me to mix you know I'm just mashing it up a little bit you know so just to make it a little bit easier on me you know I'll just do this technique here you don't have to do this if you don't want to but you know so I'll take all the shea butter off the spoon so I won't waste or lose any shea butter now I'm about to add oops sorry <laughs> my almond oil um, sorry you guys I do not measure so um, this is a poor way of showing you guys um, how much I put in there but you guys get my drift you use um, however much you want to use so you use your judgment of how much oil you want to use so I don't I didn't want to measure because I think it's too much going on so okay the grapeseed oil is here but I put that in there and I noticed I put a lot of grapeseed oil I didn't mean to really but you know I guess it's okay <laughs> But, um, yeah, just like I said before, just use your judgment. Cast the oil. I only put a little bit because I know it's kind of thick. So, I'm not going to put as much as I put the other oils in. So, um, okay. So, I'm going to stir it up a little bit. Here we go. Mash it up. Mash it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Had to fast forward the video a little bit. You know, I want you guys sitting here for, like, days watching the video. So, all right. Now, I'm going to add grape some more grapeseed oil. Just a little bit. A little bit of almond oil. And the vitamin E oil because I didn't add it. I forgot <laughs> to add it the first time. And what else? Oh, rosemary. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I'm not going to use that yet. I'll put that in a little bit later. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Mixing it up again. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Being silly. <laughs> okay. So I'm mixing it up. Make sure I mix up all the oils. You know, get all the shape off the spoon, you know. All right, now move my <laughs> table up a little bit. Okay, now I'm about to mix it. Um, I mixed it for about a good 10 or 15 minutes. I seen on YouTube that some people mix for about two or three hours. I'm sorry, but that is not me. I kind of think that's a little bit overboard, but I'm not judging anybody. So, but this is what I do. And 10 to 15 minutes is okay for me. So if you want to go over that, that's fine. That's you. But this is my Shea Butter Mix. And I'm doing it like this. I don't mean to sound rude or anything. But yeah. So, okay. Now I'm going to add the rosemary oil. Just a few drops. Not that much. Just to make it smell nice. And also rosemary oil. I'm not sure what else is for. But I know it's a good oil. <laughs> so I'm adding some more oils here. Some just some more almond oil grapeseed. Just a little bit. Not that much. You know just little dots here and there. And I'm mixing it up. Mixing it up. Trying to make it light and fluffy. And I'm putting the vitamin E oil in there too. Just a little bit. Not as much. So I'm mixing it up. Mixing it up. And now I'm about to stir it a little bit so you guys can see the consistency of it and see if I want to mix it some more. So there it is, a little bit fluffy, creamy for you guys. Now I'm going to mix it some more, mix some more. Okay. So, okay, I'm taking the shea butter off the beater. And I got my hands a little messy, can't get a little messy. Okay. And I'm stirring up a little bit some more, okay? So it's mixed enough. I think this is pretty good. It's consistency for, sorry, consistency for me. I'm going to put it in this Target bowl that I have here. And yes, I got it from Target. And so I'm going to put it inside this little container. And I didn't make as much because I'll probably make some more 
in a couple of weeks but i just want to make some just to try since this is my first shea butter mix yay <laughs> like a little clap in there but um so i'm taking all the shea butter out of the bowl making sure i get all of the shea butter i don't want to waste any product and there it is so put it in there so i'm gonna mix it a little bit so um well take it off the spoon i'm sorry for you guys so i'm sorry <laughs> oh i don't know why i'm so like i can't even talk today but yeah i'm taking it off the spoon a little bit so i don't like i said i don't want to waste any shea butter okay and there it is so um, I want to show you guys what it looks like, the finished product of the Shea Butter Mix, of my Shea Butter Mix that I made. And it looks pretty fluffy and very creamy and, cons you know, the consistency looks very, very nice. I like it. In person, it looks very, very nice. And I want to show you guys right here. It looks very creamy and fluffy. I'm going to fix it up a little bit so it could have a smooth finished <laughs> and i think it looks pretty pretty good i like it um i like the results i haven't used it yet i will when i use it i will do a review of my shea butter and just to show you guys the consistency of it that's what it is nice and creamy and fluffy i like it so that's my shea butter mix um i cover it up and there it is and I'm going to store in a cool place. And that's it. So I'm going to wash my hands. And that's so, all. So bye. Hope you guys like this and enjoy. See you later. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.